What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Stacks at Bat the Numbers, and I know everyone and their brothers probably doing an update video and getting all pumped and excited, so I figured why not throw my hat into the rink and, you know, maybe get a couple of free uh, views here from you guys, but company we're looking at here is GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME, listed here on the New York Stock Exchange. The company actually just rose up to 4206 and was halted and actually just started retrading here as I started recording. The stock right now sitting at about uh, $43 just popped up. It is running now, as you see, up to almost 44 a share, up over 12 points on the day, almost a 40% move on the news of not only people having the FOMO and, of course, jumping in looking for the 50s, the 60s, but, of course, we recently got news here, and it's not coming up, but, as you see, apparently, uh, Roaring Kitty schedules live stream stream video for Friday, which is, of course, tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure he's going to talk about how, you know, everything is awesome, and it was such a great call, and yada, 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 but, uh, I mean, again, in the technicals, I mean, I know people were making a lot of arguments saying that it looked like we were in, like, this tight wedge, a lot of people said we had a big spike up, and, and long term, the whole chart basically looked like a bull flag, so the pop was coming, of course, I personally drew out this trend line because realistically, in from a business perspective, in my opinion, this is where the stock should be, right? Because the company uh, kind of keeps seeing dwindling business, really, overall. But again, we know that this is not necessarily a fundamental play, right? So it, it's not exactly the same short uh, float that we saw many, many years ago, right? Again, this was an anomaly. We were looking at a stock where over 100% of the short was floated. So that's why the squeeze bringing the stock from, I don't remember where it started, like 12 or 18 or something, right? It rose all the way up to almost $500 a share because all of those shares basically had to be covered almost instantaneously, if you will. So that's what really drove the stock up. I was looking at options too, Calls for tomorrow, okay? Think about this. Calls expiring tomorrow on GME. Let's take, a, let's take a look now, actually. I got the account on the other screen. Bear with me here. But I was looking uh, before, and GME calls, like, $125 calls for tomorrow were still, like, 20 bucks and change. So even right now, the stock's sitting, what, at about 42 and change, Right, so if we look at a 50 call for tomorrow, you're looking at about $360 is the mid price right now. If we go up to even $80 calls for tomorrow, look at that, it's gonna cost you over $100. You're, you're, you need almost 100% move from this current level to be in the money for that $80 call, again, expiring tomorrow, and right now at 42 and a quarter roughly, that mid price is $110 a share. And if I go up to $125 a share, they're trading right now, bid 21, ask 25. So, again, a strike price expiring tomorrow, roughly 200% higher than current stock price, will still cost you roughly $25, $26 right now is the mid price. So, uh, I'm assuming people are expecting some massive explosion to take place tomorrow while Roaring Kitty goes on the live stream, and I'm sure going to talk about, um, you know, how it's going to go even higher, and it was a great call, and yada, yada, yada. I just wish one day, I mean, it would be awesome to have that kind of pull, right? I mean, this initially started because he tweeted, what, like a picture of himself leaning forward or something like that, and the stock exploded up to 60 plus within days. And now, you know, schedules, uh, you know, mentions a live stream, and all of a sudden the stock absolutely runs. I think the stock was down here in the, uh, basically like the mid to high 30s here when the news came out of him mentioning the live stream video tomorrow, and the stock absolutely exploded, going up almost another 30%, going from the mid-30s up to the mid-40s. So, you know, again, on the fundamental side, doesn't really add up, but of course, this is not a fundamental play. So, uh, again, you guys know me, I'm always honest, and the number one priority is the bulk of you making profits, right? So whether I personally agree with it or not, whether the situation grinds my gears or not, I, I really don't care. I'm, you know, there's no need to get emotional in the situation, but any of you who jumped in recently down in the 30s or in the 20s and now you caught this big pop, 
congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you guys. May have kind of benefited off of, like, these false pretenses, because technically nothing really happened. Again, the guy tweeted a picture and then said he was going to do a live stream, and that somehow catapulted the stock up, like, 400%. But, you know, we, we take what we can get. So any of you who are involved, of course congratulations that is an absolutely phenomenal return in the very short term here just again in the month alone and again i forgot to sign off steam my apologies but uh we can see here just going back to may stock was sitting here basically at like the high nine sitting at ten dollars and now has just been on an absolute run basically been holding the the mid bollinger band as well i'm looking here on the daily been been holding the mid bollinger band for the most part and anytime it dips down it immediately spikes back up so it technically still is bullish right we had the macd cross to the upside now we're exploding higher rsi potentially getting a little overextended though right that's probably why it's bouncing around like this 43 42 range we have the buyers and, and we have the short sellers hitting it after the big pop but here let's refresh and we can see RSI basically sitting at about 70 here on the daily. But if we switch over to the weekly, look at that RSI up to 82 and a third. It looked like we had a big bullish hammer coming right off of this 200 day moving average here. So we have to see if the stock closes at the high because that could potentially set up again for maybe like $50 plus uh, tomorrow during that live stream. And of course, off of the technicals here, closing above the... Uh, 200 day and potentially forming that bull hammer if it closes at the top it has to close at at the highest point at the highest price to make the bull hammer but uh it could potentially keep going but i did just want to look and point out the rsi to you guys about 70 benchmark on the daily now we're up here above 80 rsi on the weekly so now we can see we're slowly starting to pull back here sub 42 but the MACD did recently cross here, starting that explosion in May, and is kind of just trailing upward here, potentially beelining here to the sky. So this is why I'm saying now with the live stream coming, a lot of people are going to see that. They're going to see the big move it made, so they might just keep piling in. And uh, that's why I'm saying you might see anywhere from 50 to $60, who knows, maybe even more. Because again, I mentioned those calls. I'm, I'm looking right now, 125 strike call on GME expiring tomorrow trading 25 by $27, right? Any other stock, of course, that this call would be worthless. We're talking, again, over 200% move with one day to expiration. So people are definitely expecting a pretty volatile uh, spike up potentially tomorrow on this uh, stream. But let's check the pivot points real quick. I'll let you go. And we can see we're looking at the weekly. We're above our top resistance now, 34.83. What was this, Mark? We'll come back to this. 6165 right that's why i'm saying now with the live stream coming tomorrow this is why we may potentially retest old resistance and this thing could get up to maybe high 50s maybe 60 dollars a share here up here again this is looking like yeah maybe about 60 low 61s maybe about 61 and a half and of course what was this old level coming back here looking like yeah maybe like 54 54 and change so that's why we could potentially see mid 50s and maybe even 60 tomorrow but that rsi technically is overextended and on the daily we can see we just jumped up above this pivot point here 32.89 next resistance level could be just about 55 almost 55 even so that's why again you might see a pop up to about 55 60 and change and i have finviz up on the other screen and right now it is showing we have a short float of 25.5% right now. So we may have a bunch of shorts potentially covering here, adding to the volume. And the volume right now, 86 million shares traded so far today. Still have over two hours to go before market close. Average volume here, about 56 million shares. So, uh, the you know, the company trading about 50% more volume today than usually on average. But... Uh, you know, technically, in my opinion, the market cap's now a little overextended. Look at the PE sitting here at almost 1,500. But again, this is not a fundamental play. But hey, hats off to all you guys who jumped in. And, um, you know, obviously not really much more to update. We can potentially come back and we can look at where the stock is, is moving and how it's reacting to that live stream going tomorrow. And uh, Roaring Kitty, apparently, again... Tweets out a picture, mentions a live stream, stock goes from 10 to 60, back down to, 
to 18 and then spikes back up to uh, almost 45 today. And again, we still have two hours to go. But hey, overall, congratulations to all you people involved. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it there. Once again, this is Stocks by the Numbers. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Uh, thumbs up algorithm, right? Helps me get more eyes on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That is our handshake agreement. That is how you help me help you. But more importantly, moving forward, like I always say, I understand these markets are rocky, they're volatile, they're very uncertain. So I want to wish all of you success. Hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. Thanks for your time. Have a good day, guys.